Before we get started, please note that Salesforce offers both an integrated platform solution and a managed package for nonprofit fundraising. This video covers features in NPSP, a managed package product that is different from nonprofit cloud, which is an integrated platform solution. If you're not sure which product you're using, check that NPSP is listed as the app name or check with your Salesforce admin. In this video, you'll learn how to manage contacts and households in the Salesforce Nonprofit Success Pack, NPSP. In NPSP, contacts represent individuals or organizations your nonprofit interacts with, such as donors or beneficiaries. Household management in NPSP allows you to group related contacts together, typically within a family or organization, making it easier to track relationships, donations, and communications among them. This relationship helps streamline data organization and management for nonprofits in Salesforce. In the NPSP data model, there are household accounts and organization accounts. These serve distinct purposes in managing contact relationships. Organization accounts represent businesses, foundations, or other non-individual entities. Household accounts are primarily used to group individual contacts together within a family or shared living arrangement. This streamlines data management for related individuals. We'll focus on household accounts in this video. Here's a basic example of a family that lives in a single household and has made a donation. The two contacts in the household are John and Jane Smith, and they belong to the Smith household account. Jane has made a $100 donation to our nonprofit, which is stored in the Opportunity object. When the donation is created from the Jane Smith contact, the Opportunity contact role of donor is automatically created, and the donation is associated with Jane Smith's contact and Jane's household account. By default, NPSP will also give Jane's spouse, John, a soft credit for the donation since John is a member of Jane's household. This feature is customizable. Let's look at three more household management use cases. This first example is similar to the previous one. You have donors or clients associated with a household who purchase a membership or donate to your organization. In this second example, we have a program officer. He is a contact that has his own household, but he is also affiliated with his employer, a foundation. When you create an account for an organization, such as those who provide grant funding, connect any contacts using affiliations. The primary affiliation is usually where someone works. You can see that in this example, the program officer can donate personally to the nonprofit through his household, and his foundation can also provide a grant. Third, we have an employee at a corporate sponsor. Again, this person can donate personally to the nonprofit via their own household, and their company can also provide sponsorships, events tickets, or other benefits. The employee is affiliated with the company they work for via their primary affiliation on their contact record. Let's take a look at how this works. First, let's look at contacts. One of the fundamental aspects of NPSP is managing contacts. Contacts represent the individuals or organizations your nonprofit interacts with, like donors, volunteers, or beneficiaries. To get started, let's create a contact in NPSP. Be sure you are in your NPSP app by going to the App Launcher and searching for Nonprofit Success Pack. Click Contacts tab. Click on New to create a new contact record. Fill in the contact's information, such as their name, email address, and phone number. You can also add custom fields specific to your nonprofit's needs. Click Save to create the contact record. Now that we've covered contacts, let's dive into household management. Households allow you to group contacts together, making it easier to track relationships, donations, and communications within a family or organization. Here's how to set up a household in NPSP. Again, be sure you are in your NPSP app by going to the App Launcher and searching for Nonprofit Success Pack. Go to the Objects tab and search for Accounts. If you would like to create a household and then add your contacts to it, click on New Account to create a new household record. Select a household account from the Record Types options. Give your household a name and add any relevant details. Your household name can be vague. Once you add contacts to your household, the automatic naming conventions will automatically apply. Once the household account saves, click on the Manage the Household button option. To associate contacts with the household, 
click the search box under Find Contact or Add New Contact to Household. Search for and select the contacts you want to add to the household or create a new contact, which is what we will be doing here. Click Save to update the household account and link contacts. You can see the new contact has been added and the household account name has updated. Click Save to finish your updates. That's it. You've learned how to manage contacts and households in Salesforce's Nonprofit Success Pack. Contacts are the individuals or organizations you interact with, while households help you group related contacts together for more efficient management. For more information and in-depth tutorials, check out help.salesforce.com, or if you're up for the challenge, visit us on the trail at trailhead.salesforce.com. Thank you for watching, and best of luck in making your nonprofit's mission a success with NPSP.